Hello everyone, my name is Ilona and today it's Monday, May 22nd, 2023 and I'm back. I've uh, had my holiday and I still have to start with things because let's face it, when I looked at my Telegram channel this morning, I've missed so much. So I have to kind of just slowly get into things and uh, see how things go. And I'm very happy that I took the time off. I really needed that, especially in the beginning. I was so tired. Probably the energy, uh, I've been working through shadow uh, parts in me. And I feel great now. I'm going to change a few things as well. And I also feel like uh, doing some videos that aren't connecting to uh, the news, but more like on the on consciousness and how to change your life. And of course, that will be my perspective on things. So I'm probably going to start with that video or maybe multiple videos. I'm not sure about that this week. And... Um, Let's see, the first thing I actually talked about in this video, in my Dutch video, I shuffled the cards, is more of a Dutch-centered. It has to do with a certain law they want to push through with a lot of, um, how to say that, that uh, the government will have a lot of influence on certain rights, which of course happened the past three years. Also in the Netherlands, they kept us at home. They uh, kind of forced these... Um, tests in a way i didn't join of course and i've never done any testing but they of course made these uh, you know if you uh if you wanted to go to restaurants or things like that you needed to show something and you could only get it if you've gotten a sting or got it tested or if you've recovered from something so you know all those things like a clock uh, for in the evening uh, they want to uh, how to say this have a legal basis for it in this law and there's a lot of fuss going on now in like the Senate here in the Netherlands and, and they are going to vote over this law. My feeling is that it will be pushed through. They are now, it's, it's, I have a feeling that they're trying to make it seem like this is a big thing. I also mentioned this in my Dutch video. It's part of the manipulation, especially if wanna, they want to push something through that a lot of people, uh, you know, especially in a... Uh, just, uh, you know, in the country, of course, the government wants to push things through. There's a lot of resistance. What they do is make a big fuss of it as well. Like, yeah, we're really trying hard here. We understand. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about that. So they create this fuss that they really are worried about this as well. And they're listening to the people, of course. But in the meantime, they really are just going to push it through. But they're, they're doing this like, um, how do you say this? This... Um, puppet show it's a puppet show so they're creating this manipulation that they really are concerned so a lot when things get pushed through people are like oh well they really fought hard for this they really know that's the the optics they want to send out and it's of course not just in the netherlands but worldwide in politics they want to seem like they're really arguing there's a lot going on but in the meantime not much is going on although i do believe some parties here in the Netherlands are truly against it but they are, of course are not part of the government and uh, the Senate is changing of course there's been voting this uh, I think this year and things have changed I'm like thinking when when was the voting but really those things I'm just not that interested in that but anyway I believe it was this year so the Senate is now changing so they want to push it through before the change so to speak and the feeling I got and from the card reading that it's going to be a yes. First of all, this is about, of course, uh, removing rights, having the rights to step in into uh, human rights, so to speak, you know, so they can decide a lot of things for a lot of people when some health crisis could pop up. And we've seen, of course, the past three years how they've used it and, of course, used it in a very wrong way. That's also the criticism, like you shouldn't just push this through. And a lot of the, um, the regulations they want to use haven't been evaluated. And of course, really, if we think about it, they haven't had any effect. It's just nonsense, just like those masks. Nonsense. The, the, we had a, uh, an evening clock. It's just nonsense. But the first card I got, it kind of jumped out, was the star card. And this is interesting. It was upside down, kind of just fell out of my, uh, my, my deck. And this is really the dark energy still trying to uh, take away the hope. 
because if it's upright, it's about hope, new times, positive times. So upside down, they are really trying to take away that hope and despair, create a form of despair. I've noticed a lot of people before my uh, holiday started sending me messages about this law. What is going to happen? This is horrible. We need to do things. So I do understand there is a reaction towards this. I fully understand because if you look at the law, it's awful what they want to push through. But it is about taking away people's hope. Like, see, we now have that control. You can't do anything about that, which is, which is nonsense. Because ultimately, even if this, and I do believe this, this law will be pushed through here in the Netherlands, even if it's going to happen, it's up to us if we're going to follow that or not. I'm not going to be following any of that. Because really, we need to focus more on the strengths we have instead of all this fear. Yeah, they're going to push it through. And then, of course, a large group is going to follow that. Well, there's going to be a group of people that will remain following the government and what they, you know, what they come up with. That's up to them. It's up to what you decide to do. But the other cards I got first is the Three of Wands. The central card is the Ace of Pentacles, and to me it is a yes that this law will most likely be pushed through. We have the Hermit in the past. We've got the Eight of Pentacles underneath, the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have for the future the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. To me feels like this is going to be feeling like a disappointment, but it's also going to wake up people again, realizing what's really going on. And that's to me what this is about. So the dark energies, of course, are going to use it to take away people's hope. Like, see, we have full control over everything, but I think the white hats, and that's my perspective, are purposely doing this because there's going to be resistance. People will not you know, will not be happy about this and it will wake up people again because there is a lot of, there are a lot of articles uh, paying attention to it, especially in mainstream media. They are, of course, pro the law. Obviously, we know who are paying them. They, so they're bringing it, of course, there's criticism and you, we can partially understand it. That's actually a sentence in one of the articles, which really is the manipulation. So they are like, yeah, there is criticism and we partially understand it. Really, you don't need partially to understand it. Just look at the nonsense they want to put into this law, but that's how they bring it. They want to take away the resistance from the side of, of course, people here in the Netherlands, people that are reading it. Like it's well thought out, they've seen all sides, it's part of the manipulation trick. So interesting enough, I do think they will push this through, but it's going to lead to more people dissatisfied with this, more criticism. And to be very honest, I have I, the feeling I'm getting is they're not going to be able to really put this into full use. If the dark energies really had the power to create another health crisis at this this size for what happened the past three years, they would have done it by now. They wouldn't have given up the last one, to be very honest. That went down, yeah, downhill quite fast to be, if you just look at what happened and how it, how everything was going, it went downhill very, very fast. So to me, it feels like they don't have that control anymore. They are not capable of really doing that anymore. They would have done it by now. They would have had this law already and not just in the Netherlands, but worldwide. Although in other countries, they're kind of pushing similar laws most likely as well. But let's face it, if they really had that power, it's, it's really the only thing they still have is lowering our vibration. Uh, creating uh, despair, creating this feeling of it's, it's useless, we're powerless. That's what they want people to feel. But ultimately, we decide if we're going to follow anything or not. That is up to us to decide. And I can tell you right away, I won't be doing any of that. <laughs> Whatever they come up with, they can come up with whatever they want. I will not be complying. So... That's the card reading I've got for the law here in the Netherlands, but you can take it, you see it in a bigger perspective because this is not just happening in the Netherlands. The other thing I wanted to look at was the energy for this week. And the first card I got was the High Priestess. Second card is the Six of 
Swords. And the third one is the Six of Pentacles. So here I believe that we will have more scandals. There is the veils are lifting. There is there are things happening on the other side. You know how to say this on the background because there is secrecy. But more and more things are coming out. We are moving away from, from a lot of things. We're moving towards a new future. But it can still seem like we're not getting really away from things. It may still seem like we're taking with us some old things. But that's not really the case. So because those swords are in the boat. It's almost like we're still taking some things with us. But it's not really. We are really moving away from things. And balance needs to be restored. So it's very possible that this week can go from one way to the other way and swing back again. So we can have very like things that will seem very dark energy and then some something that will pop out it's like no, this could be a white hat action and it's just going to swing around to restore balance, especially because we've been in an extreme situation for like centuries. It's going to swing the other way and back and the other way again before it's really going to be restored. So I have a feeling like almost like, like a ping pong ball that a lot of things can happen. We are now in the period that things are coming out. Veils are being lifted. Truths are coming out. We are moving away from things. We are leaving behind things. And it's about restoring balance. Now the three energies. The advice for this week. We have the nine of swords. We've got the two of cups. And we've got the three of wands. This is really about what stresses you out, what comes up, fears, anger, especially concerning in the Netherlands here, this law. This, of course, is the that governments can decide things and there is there are going to be people following the government. And a lot of us, especially people working with consciousness, been working with this throughout multiple lifetimes. And we've experienced being outside, left outside of the group, uh, horrible things. We've been, you know, um, wouldn't be able to open our mouths in certain lifetimes. We were treated in a very bad way. So there's a lot of fear in, you know, going against the group and being afraid that the group is going to decide things for you. So it's time to heal that as well. So especially, and it doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, I'm, I'm specifically now talking about this Dutch law because it's now relevant here in the Netherlands, but I'm just in your own country, maybe there are things that you're like, yeah, well, I'm going to be dragged down with the crowd. I won't be able to stand, you know, on my own two feet and then I'll be forced this or they're going to force me in that way. These are all old pains. And it's also possible, not just from past lifetimes or future lifetimes, because ultimately there is no time. But maybe in your youth, when I was growing up, I never fit it in. Uh, I was um, bullied. Uh, it's it's just, it always leaves you like, it, I still have that when in a group, I'm almost like, hmm, do I really fit in? When are they going to turn against me? Things like that. You're not going to feel completely safe. And it is important that you face those fears that you're not afraid anymore of this large group of people because you are standing on your own two feet. Just watch and see what's really going to happen and heal those things inside of yourself. So you can really truly feel like in past lifetimes, other energies, it wasn't really the time yet and other things were involved. Maybe I'll make a video about that as well. Other lessons were supposed to be learned in that time. But now it is really about stepping into our own power. Not being afraid to step away from the crowd. Not being afraid to be who we are. Whatever other people are doing. And really standing in our own power. Our own strength. Because we are safe. We are protected. And when we truly feel that way. When we know we are always safe. We don't have to fear anything outside of ourselves. And that is really very important. I'd like to leave it at this and hope to see you in another video. Bye.